Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're back with another video for you guys today and today we will be going over the zero auth Minecraft account scam exploit Whatever you want to call it, but it's pretty much a scam. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but we are back today and Maybe more in the future. I don't know yet, but right now we are going to be going over the zero auth exploit or o auth exploit whatever you want to call it uh, so yeah, a little backstory on this. I was actually affected by this scam. So yeah, I'll tell you how it works, what happened, and how to recover from it. Because technically, it is a rat, but not really a rat, because you gave it permission. But you'll see. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. This scam is mainly used for Hypixel Skyblock in order to steal coins and other items. However, it still can be used to get access to your account and the scammer can join any server on your account. The scam looks obvious after you start to think about it, but if you're not really paying attention, you can get caught off guard really easily. This scam starts by clicking on a fake Discord Verify link which will ask you to sign in to your Microsoft account. After you sign in, you will be asked to allow the Discord bot to access information on your Microsoft account. After you allow it by clicking yes, you lose your Minecraft account almost instantly. This is an example of what the scammer has sent after you give the Discord bot access. The information will give them your Minecraft session ID, which can be accessed for up to two days. The scammer will then use a mod that allows them to log into a Minecraft account via session ID. All you have to do to save your account is remove the Discord bot permissions from your Microsoft account. Changing your passwords won't, won't hurt either. The screenshot you're seeing is what has access to my Microsoft account, and since I was already affected by this, I have removed the fake Discord bot permissions. If you see something that looks odd, remove its permissions, uh, because the Discord's bot bot's name will vary. To avoid the scam, all you really need to do is pay attention and be aware what you're giving permissions to. If you ever get scammed, don't feel bad because it happens sometimes. Just make sure you minimize the damage and educate yourself on what happened. And that is pretty much the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy or learned something or thought it was interesting. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome content. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys.